What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I told you that we were gonna come up here and visit our boy Stang Mode. I was in the area hanging out with Jack, Determined Veteran on YouTube. But as you can see, my background. We have a jungle gym plethora of goodies back here. Thing, yep. what's up, man? Crown Jewel, I got my V6 convertible back here and uh, feeling hey. good. I'm <laughs> just kidding. We're <laughs> excited, man. It's good to see you. It's been a while, yeah. man. Yeah, man. 2020 so, kept us from hanging out a lot. So talk to us about this car, dude, because you're uh, giving this thing away and $30,000 yes. cash, right? Crazy. Uh, as you know, we started the business last year with when you drove and yeah. reviewed uh, the uh, 500 from Petro. That was so much fun. That was a great time. Oh my gosh. And we worked hard and the business has grown and now we're able to do some craziness. Uh, yeah. This is the new Mach 1. And I'm curious to see how you, what your impressions are because everyone has an opinion but no one's driven it. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, no, um, it was a lot of fun to be able to, you know, rip around the city with the GT500. Sure. And also, Jack has behind, you guys know if you've been watching the video, staying up to date, look back here, twin turbo GT350R. We just did a fuel system in that car so it's totally safe, totally legit, so I can turn a boost up. But, the Mach 1 is kind of an interesting in-between because I still hold true that it is a parts bin car of some sort, but I will say that Ford has done it right. On paper and pictures, I was not sold. In person though, it is, it is amazing. So let's just walk around the car real quick, show you what is going on here because guys, this could be yours. By the way, use promo code Xander13 at checkout save some money this could be yours and thirty thousand i don't even know how you're doing it thirty thousand dollars cash it's correct he says he's gonna go bankrupt but i digress let's do a walk around of the all new 2021 mach one let's go thousand horsepower car this is a thousand horsepower car we got another thousand horsepower car back here so just horsepower everywhere but we find ourselves looking at a mach one that's what this video is going to be a little bit about is uh what kind of car is this? How does it fit in with the rest of these toys laying around, sitting around this driveway? But man, I love these wheels. These are the Velgen, Velgen, however you say it, VF5s, and they are fire. Look at the stance. So this is all factory ride right height too. The only modification this thing right now, I believe, is just a, a double H pipe made by Corsa that you can only get at Lethal Performance. By the way, Use promo code Xander13 at checkout at Lethal Performance and you can save some money there and buy this H-Pipe. It's the same one that I've got in my car and it sounds amazing. So it's basically, as I understand, got the magnetic ride out of the GT500, Coyote, Gen 3 Coyote, uh, engine in this, but everything else is kind of very GT350, GT500 like. Looks so, so, so good. The last time that I saw one of these in person was at our dealership. You know, little details that don't get picked up on camera very often is like, you know, the separation here, the different colors. All the little intricate details that, you know, get past, it, you just get skipped on camera. Uh, I like to be able to bring you to show you all the little angles and stuff like that, but man, all right, let's check out the interior real quick. So just like we saw at the dealership before, everything is very GT premium really nothing new going on except for a couple little touches here of course he's got the all new well not new but reused in this platform Tremec 3160 that is the same manual out of that car so you can also get this in 10 speed but he did it right he went with the manual and i would have to probably do the same you know the little touches really kind of push this thing over the edge i really like it man he added a gt350 track pack spoiler i am in love with these wheels these wheels look so good perfect on this car man this is they call it a, a fighter jet gray on camera i just don't know that it's going to do it justice this thing is gorgeous but let's fire it up do some revs so you guys can hear with the all new double H bike. Let's go. That sounds totally bad. 
badass. We're gonna stop talking, hop in the car, go for a ride. I'm gonna give you my driving impressions and uh, where do I think it lives within the Mustang family? Is it worth it? Should you buy it? Because they are expensive. I mean, ballpark is $60,000, which you could also find back here, a GT350, possibly on the used market for about the same price. So, should you buy a Mach 1? We're gonna try to answer that. Let's go. Let's get set up in the new Mach 1. My first time driving the new Mach 1. I mean, how does this compare to the other cars? I mean, I got a lot of seat time in GT500s, GT350s, but not in something like this. Again, we're dealing with the Gen 3, ooh, it's hot. The Gen 3 Coyote that it has, that's under the hood. So, which is a proven, proven engine for boost and stuff like that. So, I think that with the this 3160 transmission, I mean, it, it might be the right flavor if you buy this car, but all right, we're gonna take the cars out, have a little bit of fun, get buckled up for safety here. But guys, here we go. 2021 Mach 1, this thing is nice. There's a couple of differences between like a PP1 or PP2, the other cars, this is great. All right, I'm excited, I'm excited. I feel like I'm sitting in the sky though. Here we go. So I'm the slowest in our group here. I'm gonna try to keep up. Got a uh, built GT500 in front of me and a twin turbo 1,000 horsepower Shelby behind me. But Oh, I love this transmission. So in GTs, we've always had the MT82. I know that's a bad word. We must not say that name, but now we have the new Tremec 3160, same one from the GT350 and uh, yes, it's notchy. You don't need a short throw shifter from the factory. You're not gonna get locked out of gear and you're not gonna break shift forks. <laughs> it's the most important thing. This transmission is my favorite that I've ever, ever rode in a car. I love it to death and I can tell you just, just driving at 38 mile an hour right now, it is, uh, woo, Ooh, got ref match, wow. Ref match, that's sick. Listen, listen. Ah, that's a that's brilliant. Oh, I just did it automatically. That's so cool. I haven't driven a car with automatic rev match before, and that was perfect. That's oh. Of course, you could heel toe and you could turn it off. I'm sure, but there's no paddles to turn it off. Maybe you go through the settings. I don't know. This is like a brand new toy. We got to figure it out. But this thing is great. Woo, man, this sounds good. Oh, boosted 350 on my butt. Hey, you wanna, let's go. We can do it. I'm in track mode too on like the New Jersey, you know, streets, and they suck. They're terrible. But I don't. I'm not getting really beat up. Not yet, anyway. But I got a nice, nice turn in there. Oh man, what a treat. Rev match. especially like an R, I say buy it over this, 100%. But if that's not an option, this is this is your cup of tea right here. I'm telling you, this is amazing. Some would argue that it's missing is it doesn't have the, uh, you know, the classic hood scoop. There's a company out there that's making them, but you know, in Ford and all their engineering and everything, I guess decided not to do it. But you know, for driving this car, it feels 
like a GT, but with better suspension and a better transmission. But we still, at the end of the day, are Gen 3 Coyote, which is, in my opinion, a good thing. Nothing against the Voodoo in the other car, the 350, but the Gen 3 is capable of so much. Some rev match. Listen to that. And this is all this is coming from a guy that really, I really wanted to hate this car. I hate falling in love with new toys because then I want one. But I, I'm telling you that this is uh, this is great. And I'll lose that GoPro, yeah. Go back to the house. Okay. We'll drop this off and then we'll go to this spot. I want to ride in that thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yes. We'll drop that off and then you'll jump with me. We'll go to the spot taking cool pictures. Sweet. Grab a bite. So I asked him, I was like, you want to take a hit? He's like, he's on weight skate. I was like, Bro, right. this car is so much fun. Huh? This car? Isn't it though? It is. Dude, I tell you. I didn't want to like it, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you. People don't know how good it is. It's like, it's a GT with better feels, suspension. It feels so good. And, and the right so transmission. It's, so, it's, it's what the GT should have had. 100%. They finally got it right. At the end of the, at the, end of the, <laughs> at the end, they finally got it. He's 100% he's right. So, guys, um, oh, he's, he's chasing. Yeah, we're going to beat this light. <laughs> I'm having too much fun. So, final thoughts as we walk around the car here. I love it. Nothing really bad to say about it, man. The auto rev match is kind of like a little cheat code. It's, it's really good. I like it. Um, I know this is an opinion from some, you know, old army vet. I'm not that old, but I guess, you know, some dude in the camouflage hat, right? Should you buy the car? I think you should. I think it's great. But I guess you just, the way it works, you just go to stegmo.com, buy you some merch, and I know it's not like an advertisement, but I love it, man. I, I like the car, whether you're buying it, whether you're winning it for 10 bucks or paying $60,000 cash, if you want a brand new car and you're not looking for like a used 350, I think this is honestly the way to go. I love their auto, I just like everything, man. So now what we're gonna do is hop in this green machine over here, which he calls the Hulk, this built, highly built GT500. Get ready for that video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay face out, stay, stay, stay. Can't even find the words. I'm just, I'm just all grins today. Stay safe out there, guys. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> that wraps it up. Bye. Love, 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 love it. The Mach One. Huge thanks to Stang Mode for allowing me to toy around with this thing on the street. You know, it's really fun to be able to do all this stuff and to experience these cars. And uh, you know, it's it's such a blessing and a treat. But man, this is I love everything about the car. The color is great. It comes off on like camera weird. In person, it's awesome. These wheels are fire. I really like them. 20s. Um, the VF5, Velgen VF5s. They look really good at home on the Mach 1. So, all right, that's going to be it. We're going to jump in the GT500, and uh, you're going to hear me probably scream and cry like a schoolgirl. <laughs> so, let's go.